The following video is intended for adult collectors and is not recommended for children under the age of 13. Parental discretion is advised. I've said it on my channel many times that I really enjoy a good transformer or a good transforming action figure that takes me right back to the 80s of watching that cartoon. But I've also mentioned before how much I love a good stylized transforming robot that still keeps some of that flavor of those 80s toys and the colorful nature of it, but twists it up a little bit into a more modern kind of stylized way. And with TFC Toys Satan Combiner, their version of Abominus, I'm kind of getting all that into one lump sum. Starting with their center twin, their Astaroth, we got the first part of that Satan Combiner, their Abominus. And if you check that review out, you'll see that it had quite a few flaws and it wasn't really perfect. It wasn't fun to transform and it had some floppy bits that I really didn't enjoy. And now they've finally released their second bot in that line, Mammon, their version of Blot. And that's what I'm going to take a look at today. So I'm hoping that maybe some time has passed and the engineering has stepped up a bit. Maybe it's a little more fun to transform and the, you know, the parts aren't as, uh, squirrely as they were on Astaroth. You can see with the box art, they kept that colorful nature of Abominus, but gave you this really stylized look of Blot. I mean, I don't know how I feel about it yet, but I'm really anxious to find out. I think they've done a pretty good job of translating their Poseidon combiner and retooling it into this. So I'm hoping I really enjoy this because I'm kind of invested in it now and going to keep going no matter what. So let's take a look at TFC Toys S02 Mammon, their version of Blot for their Satan Abominus Combiner. It's Kato! And just like always, I'm going to start off by taking a look at the accessories, and they are very minimal with this one. You obviously have his combiner foot, which is very similar, if not the exact same, to the one that came with Astaroth. You can slip this piece off if you want to make a shield. Uh, it's not something I plan on doing at all, but the foot looks good. I think it uh, serves the purpose well, and I'll show this in more detail in combined mode, but I think you guys get the idea of what this is. Next up you have his blaster, which is really big compared to the bot. Uh, it's obviously going to be used for combined mode eventually. I'm assuming everything will plug in. And let me say this, I'm pretty sure that TFC Toys is Kang Toys because the engineering on this is a lot like Ferocious and Lambo. And that is not necessarily a good thing. And I'll go through that in the transformation. But the gun is painted well. I think this is just blue plastic with some red paint on it. It's fine. It's fine. He doesn't hold it very well. Uh, not super thrilled with how the gun pegs into the hand. And I'll show that right now. So TFC has opted to go with just the slip in to the palm method. And it's just not very tight. It's not a tight fit. You can close the palm up around it a bit, but still just not great. So that's not a good start. And something else I like to do when it's warranted, I kind of like to review the instructions. And these, not great, not great. They. I don't think I did, I don't think I reviewed the Astaroth instructions very well either, but it's just, they don't really show enough detail of what's going on. It's hard to explain without having it in hand. I ended up just foregoing the instructions altogether and kind of just looking at the picture and making it look as close to the photo as I could. And that's the thing about this, and I'll, I will go into more of it later. It is not fun to transform. It's just not. It's gangly and you end up just 
putting things where you think they need to go. Some things are fine. Some things are obvious. They plug together, fit together or whatever. But some, you just kind of wing it and do your own transformation in the moment. But again, not that big of a deal. I'm getting it mostly for combined mode anyway. As we move on to the figure itself, I gotta say, like out of the box, speaking of the box, I should have recorded opening the box and getting him into bot mode because he comes kind of three quarters transformed halfway between uh, alt mode and bot mode and the instructions again don't one thing about companies when they do that when they pack things this way fans toys other companies there should be a sliver of instructions that tell you how to get it from how it's packed to its primary mode its bot mode or whatever the start mode for the instructions are and i really regret not doing that for you guys i should have uh, done that but when i got them out of the box it was it was i was kind of too late I, just, I was committed into getting them transformed at the time but he presents a good figure right out of the box the colors are awesome and that's one thing i'm really looking forward to this uh combined abominus or uh, uh, satan is because the colors i think are really going to pop you've got this really cool uh, bluish dark dark blue plastic with this purple silver red lots of paint you've got light piping in the eyes uh it's hard to show here but there you go standard glow so they do work really well because the entire back half of the head is light piping you get all this translucent uh, plastic here on the nose of the bot mode and coming down you got the blue plastic here with some more red paint along here and you can see some red paint inside along with the silver so details you got translucent plastic here let's go around to the back uh, what will be the monster arms of course you have this nice translucent plastic so i love the style that they're going with here this the legs are what gives it away as being probably related to kang toys because you'll you'll see what i mean when i get there but there is a piece of i uh, forget which leg it is it'll probably come off at some point one of these little caps here will come off i'll probably have to glue that it doesn't harm transformation but when it was when it came out of the box this was a hot mess like this was unclipped and you had to just figure it out and there was nothing that led you down the path of getting it figured out some translucent plastic here so bot mode looks pretty good i do like that i, I do like the bot mode even though i probably am not gonna long term keep him in bot mode uh, articulation the head is on a ball joint so he will do a full 360 he looks down pretty well i do like that even though he's not very tall so you don't need to that much he will look up all right and He's got a nice bobble there. It, like I said, it's just on a ball joint, so lots of room to move there. The arms, you've got these shoulder pieces here that the instructions kind of ignore, I think, but you can bring those out and position those however you want. The arm will do a full 360 on a really, really good ratchet. That is, you can see the ratchet spring in there. Really good ratchet there, I do like that. Uh, bicep swivel. A nice arm bend there at the elbow and the hands will rotate 360 and it's a single pin and some typewriter fingers so it will just open and close like that and then swing in and out so the arms articulation is really good and you also have a you can use this joint here as a great butterfly if you like so that, that's I mean it's awkward looking but you figure photographers can disguise a lot of things but you can do that if you want uh, let's get this out of the way waist rotation you get 360 even though there's some stuff in the way you can kind of move it out of the way to maneuver that if you want but plenty of waist rotation the legs will come out more than 90 degrees you can go all the way up there if you want so that's that's very cool if, in case you need to do that Get these hip skirts out of the way. We'll come up about that far. Back, not so far unless you're willing to get this stuff out of the way. And you get about a 
just under 90 degree knee bend, thigh swivel, and plenty of movement in the ankle. Uh, one problem with this one is the ankle, the ball joint in the ankle is really loose. And I remember on my Astaroth review, there was a couple of loose ball joints in that, but you've got a ball joint at the ankle to move pretty much any direction that you need to. There he is beside Bad Cube's Sun Surge. So you can see he's about the size of a standard MP Carbot. And there he is beside Astaroth, their center twin. He stands just about, his shoulders are right at the six inch mark. I'd say six and a half. As we start to get him into his monster mode, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to get his arms straight out. And you're going to lift right here at this hinge, spin the hand in, collapse the shoulder or collapse the bicep, and then close that back down. Same thing on this side, raise the arm up, get this out, rotate that in, collapse the bicep and close that down. Now from here, the instructions tell you to go ahead and rotate his little uh, kind of horn fin things around. And you can do that now. It's not absolutely necessary, but they're on a ball joint, so you need to just position those up and out of the way. It's really just to get them out of the way for now. So next up, you're gonna pull the head out. And one thing you need to make sure of is this plastic piece right here. It's all one big square, but you've got to get that loose. And it's a very snug fit, so you're gonna have to pull harder than you think you, you need to until you get it all the way out like this. And as you do that, you're gonna rotate the head in and then bring all this up. This piece right here will come out. You're basically just gonna extend this whole thing and then get the head rotated in and up. And then this piece again, you're gonna to have to push in pretty hard to get it to lock in like that. And it should sit like that. And then just extend all this out. Next thing you're going to want to do once you've got the head up and out of the way, just bring the arms back for now and let them sit just like that. Come around to the back, rotate these straight out. Now with that done, you're just going to rotate the waist 180 all the way around. Take this and plug that into place right there. Come back to the arms. You're going to get this tab into this slot right here on both arms. To lock those in place really easy now we're going to work on the legs there's this little piece right here you're going to bring that out it's on like a kind of a double swivel but you're really just going to bring it straight around to the front and so you'll bring it around and then fold it in like that and it's going to give you an extra set of tabs here for the leg now untab this top piece here bring the leg all the way out and just wiggle around until you can get the position that you need. Something like that, just for now. And we'll do the same thing on the opposite leg. Bring this piece out, fold that in, bring this up, untab here, bring it all the way around until you're right there. And the legs are on a little slider here. So those may come around and out, but don't worry about that for now. Just let it sit tight. This is where it gets a little aggravating. The instructions tell you to go ahead and tab the legs together. I do not recommend doing that. You will struggle with these joints right here, getting them lined up right, because these two joints inside the knee right here change depending on what you want to do. So you want to use the uppermost joint to fold the legs in the end goal is to have this piece right here this open slot cover the arms that's the goal so i'm going to take this uppermost joint and try to bring the leg up so that it covers a lot of this arm all the while getting all this stuff out of the way so it's got to come up high enough and inward enough. So not a cakewalk and I might 
have to do it off camera just because of just for the sake of room but it has to come all the way up and in this is why this tab right here needs to line up with that slot so it's really just a matter of messing with the knee bend enough to get this pushed in so that this tab can go in that slot so I've got it pushed in, so the, it should look like that from underneath. So the joint should butt up against the kneecap. And then you want to get this lined up right there. But I'm going to undo that for now, just so I can do the other leg. Now I'm going to try to get this on camera, but I'm not sure how, how easy that is. And now you have to deal with, because I recommend doing them one leg at a time, the connection joints there we go and you can see what happens when it's wrong see it doesn't line up so you kind of just have to push until it lines up now you get everything else to line up so that you can put these pieces together like that Slide that in and the back's done. So it's not too bad. Just the instructions don't do a good job of getting that through. Now just let that sit right here. This will be a point of contention later. I'll get back to that. Now with the upper arms, you're going to finally untab those and bring them around. And what you'll see is there is a, if I can get that slot right there that will tab into that and also this little channel right here that will roll over the shoulder joint and get that all lined up is kind of a bear but it can be done just like that same with this one rotate this around get that shoulder joint here to lock in and at the same time maneuver that peg all the way into that joint just like that and one thing to note is as you do that sometimes the seams want to split a bit nothing's come apart yet but just be aware that happens now with the arms you're just going to maneuver those pull those out and then get those into the bendable position. You can figure that out on your own. It's pretty easy. Extend that out and just get that to the position where you want it to look normal. So with that, you're going to twist the arms on that bicep rotation towards the front, get the legs into an animal position, rotate the head 180, kind of push it down into place, just to a comfortable position, however you want it. And this piece just floats. This whole back piece right here is pretty tight. It just kind of floats and fills in the gap however you want to do it. It's up to you at that point. And uh, yeah, clean them up, set them down. We'll take a look at it. Now in his beast mode, the colors still, you know, they still pop. I love them. The purples and blues still show up. You've got that translucent horn right there that the light is picking up really well all the translucent plastic here on the claws a lot of there's a lot of similarities right there's nothing no real change between bot mode and alt mode and that's typical of kind of beast formers in a way but their use of translucent plastic is really good and just the right amount of paint touches i like it i mean i do like each individual mode but it's not fun to get to. Not without its flaws in articulation or design. I mean, some of the design is just like they just said, I don't know, put that right there. And that, like with this, there's nothing here to really sit that anywhere. It, it floats and just kind of chills out and can get tucked in. It's, I don't know. I think some of it is just like, they got to a point where they said, yeah, that works. So for articulation, you've got this joint here on the neck and plenty of rotation here the mouth will open you've got the rolling teeth here which i think is great some 
gray paint on the teeth, a little bit of overspray of paint, it seems, right here. The horns, or whatever these are, the ears, they can move around. Again, the overall design is pretty, pretty great. Uh, these ball joints right here for these hip flaps kind of move around. This one's a bit loose, but nothing too crazy. You've got the arms, monster arms that will rotate 360 on the bicep swivel there. Move right at 90 degrees and each claw is on a hinge and another hinge at the base. The upper two claws are on sort of a swivel. They're on a ball pit, uh, mushroom peg there, so they can widen out to show that translucent blaster in there. So that's that's pretty good too. Don't mind that. The legs, uh, iffy. They're on this slider joint to go in and out. I find it looks best in, but you get a little bit of a jiggle there. But you can rotate those around. You've got some knee bend here and this ball joint on this knee cover you've got the swivel at the foot it's the same foot as the robot uh, in a way and you've got that there so you can see it's a little loose but nothing crazy i am worried about it over time but let me pop that in there there that's much better that's much much more of a tight joint that just wasn't in all the way so it's not bad this foot is much tighter and it feels more sturdy now what i was saying was is it this one yeah see this little knee pad here comes off pretty easy but i can fix that with a little bit of glue nothing too crazy but i mean it's all right all right i mean it's 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 blot you know if you know the terracons it's you know who this is he's ugly as he should be for a quick size comparison there he is beside earthrise blue streak just to give you a frame of reference that most people will get and there he is beside their astaroth uh, their center twin and this thing is still a pain in the testes to transform and there he is beside bad cube sun surge now getting him into leg mode again gets kind of annoying because of those uh the leg transformation of the bot but just get those arms up and out go ahead and bring them back in close up the claws nice and tight like that so next up you're basically going to undo the legs and the back to get that into the position that we need them in which is basically I'll do that right there this right here bring the legs all the way down again all right just keep all this out of the way go ahead and bring the arms back up and get them out of the way pop up the little pelvis right there another thing the instructions don't cover really well is you're going to pick just this section up and rotate it on its own to the opposite side all the way around there to its new home right there what you what you eventually want is all this to go in here and then this hinge right here to sit flat against the torso so then you can bring the hands in or the arms back in and plug in where they were so because of some technical difficulties, I had to go back and film this part later and add it in afterward. But what you need to do is now bend on this bottom hinge and fold up into the leg, just like you did before. No big deal. Just hinge here, fold it up into the hips. Now on this side with the legs together, there's a tab that they create here that will tab into this pelvis piece there. Again, the biggest problem with the leg transformation is getting the knees in the right position. They're never all the way in or all the way out. They always have some sort of slight angle to it. And if you don't get that angle right, 
things just won't line up. This piece won't line up. It won't wrap around the pelvis like it should. So that's an engineering problem. Now with these little pieces here, I just get them up and out of the way. I kind of use them as gap fillers on the side. Whether that's right or wrong, I don't know, but that's what I'm doing. Now the legs are pretty straightforward from this point. You want to get this tab into that slot so that it sits flat like that. Rotate it all the way up. Make sure that these tabs are on the top for the feet because you have here and this second tab right here, or the second slot is gonna hold those feet in place like that. Same thing on this side. So let's rotate this up so you can see. Keep this straight so that it folds in and that will go inside this little hole right here. Bring this all the way up. Now you're gonna rotate the foot around so that it gets inside this gap and plugs in like that. Like the easiest thing to do ever. And you can see that this little piece fell off again. Put that back. And the bottom of the legs are pretty much done. That's gonna be the bottom of the foot. Get that head up and out of the way, bring the arms back around, tab them together, just like you have in robot mode. And just bring those down. And this is just a matter of whatever you wanna do. They kinda of sit there uh, once they're tabbed in up top. I like to put them like that. I think that's about how the image on the box shows it and everything. Just like that. Now all you're gonna do is just bring the head around and sit it kind of whatever position back here you feel is good. So I just set it like that. And that's done. Let's grab the foot. And you have these slots here with there. And then slide that up in here. There you go. And there's your freaking foot, man. Man, did they name this thing right, this evil bastard. But it looks good. I think it, it's put together even better than uh, Astaroth or um, Center Twin. And there he is next to Bad Cube Sun Surge. So, sweet. All right. So I was prepared to give some pretty decent final thoughts on this guy, but it broke. So be very careful of the piece that goes inside of his chest right here. You remember this piece is what uh, was hanging over the back of the bot. Luckily, it's not super important and I can probably glue it. And don't expect to see this guy transformed again in any way, shape or form on video for the rest of this set if I decide to go forward. Because these aren't fun. They are not fun transformations, but I really want to see this Abominus complete because that's the way it's gonna stay. But I have a hard time committing my money to something that isn't fun. And Astaroth had super weak joints that flop around like crazy. This thing, the tolerances are tough. Again, completely doable, it's not super difficult but very frustrating and then for this piece to pop off because you have to pull this part right here this little purple part here that the head tucks into is it snaps in there pretty tight in order to get the hands to where they need to be in alt mode and trying to pull that out i guess i squeezed where i shouldn't have squozen and that just snapped right off and unclipped from the neck piece i think i can fix it but just be careful of this piece and a few others as you move along. All right, for real final thoughts. The gun is too big, but I know it's going to end up being part of the gun for uh, Abominus. It doesn't really hold in the hand too super well. It's doing fine now. There's plenty to like about this in each individual mode. There's very little to like about getting it to each of those modes so do i recommend it only if you're like me and you like to punish yourself and you want to see the finished product yes i will probably continue to get them i want to see abominus done 
I don't really care about their alt or robot mode. I just want to see this stylized abominus done. And at this point, I'm going to get them out of frustration because <laughs> they've got to get better. Got to get better. So TFC Toys, I know you probably will never see this, but come on, people. A little bit better engineering. Overall, I don't know. I can't recommend it unless you just happen to want it. On that note, be sure to check out the other Rejecticons at Sardo News by 82, Larkin's Lair, and Inutabi. Their links will be in the description below. Until next time, take it easy. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see the channel grow, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and share this video out there to your friends. As always, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and giving me your valuable time. I appreciate each and every one of you. And remember to be good to yourself, be good to each other, and always play. This is Kato signing out.